Hey guys, Panzer J back here in Operation 20 Core. This is turn 14.7 for Italy. Uh, January of 1943. So let's get into the Italian turn. So lucky for us, we didn't get convoyed last time. So that left us 10 bucks and just enough we could buy a fighter. So thought about buying a handful of other units to add up to 10, but I figured this will probably be the last turn I have enough to buy a fighter. So might as well go and do that now. So thanks, Pete, for not convoying me last turn. I thought I was going to be down to nine, so good enough. Okay, so enough rambling. T Ten for a fighter, that's everything. Our one tech roll, we're going to try for heavy armor, which is at stage one, and we need an eight or higher for that. A four we miss. Okay, combat. I think we only have uh, two combat, and not even a whole bunch of non-combat. So here in C-Zone A25, this fleet sub is going to come down one, one, two, three, and convoy the New York Rio line there for three bucks, hopefully. And number two, we're going to take our seaplane, one, two, and convoy the British in A28. And that is it. Okay, so convoy rating. Let's go ahead with... Uh, green for Italy, bluish red for the U.S., and we'll keep that for the U.K. as well. Okay, so first the United States, plus two. So that's, oh no, I think Hambone said he's got long-range aircraft. So I think he has a plus one. So I think we only did one damage, I think. Or no, we would have done two damage. That would have been four to two. I think it's four to two. So I think we did two damage to the U.S., and the British... It doesn't matter. Uh, they have better modifiers. Okay, so nothing as usual for the British. So two off for the U.S. Okay, non-combat. Our AA gun here in northern Italy is going to move down one to Rome. And then over here. So we're getting ready for, I think, a pretty big confrontation with the Russians. So we got a few options here in southern Russia. Um... I'm assuming Rich is going to, with his rocket, is going to nuke one of those air bases. So that's not going to allow me to scramble from uh, the one air base to the territory he's going to attack. Because he's, he's going either into Kiev or he's going to try for the surround probably. So we don't want that to happen. So we've got to kind of put up a, a defense here, maybe temporarily leave Kiev, unfortunately but maybe build up enough of a stack with the combined German and Italian armies here that Rich won't be able to go at us. So with that in mind, here in southern Ukraine, all the Italian units are going to move over to western Ukraine and join that German infantry and militia. So that's going to be two infantry. Uh, two motorized infantry. The three fighters. And the one tactical bomber. All move one space to uh, western Ukraine. And I think that's it. In Africa, we're just going to sit where we are. Or no, actually, we are going to move up one. My, my, my bad. I did have one more attack. Sorry. It's only a walk-on, so hopefully Pete doesn't mind. We're going to go into Upper Egypt. Our entire force here is going to go up into Upper Egypt. It's not worth anything, but we'll make the French chase us a little bit more. Old Sneaky Pete isn't, a, isn't being a good ally to the French. He's just going to throw the French as cannon fodder in against the Italians and weaken them down so the British can come in and pick them off. So I don't think, that's, I don't think the UK is being a very uh, good ally to the French there, but... Okay, so that's the end of non-combat and combat. Okay, how about unit placement? We have one unit to place, which is a fighter, and that goes down in northern Italy. Okay, and that's it. So for income, we're sitting at 10. We spend everything, so we collect 10. How about a unit recap? Oh, our, well, non-combat, I forgot the... Seaplane just flies back uh, to Aquitaine. Okay, our fleet sub is in A41. Now in 
I already forgot the name of the territory. In uh, Upper Egypt is six infantry and two artillery. Um, Rome now has the fort, three Italian militia, an Italian AA gun, three German infantry, two German self-propelled artillery. Northern Italy consists of an Italian militia, uh, two, uh, two Italian fighters, one German fighter, and I believe, I'll double check, but I'm pretty sure it's seven Italian infantry. Yep, seven infantry. And over here on the Eastern Front in Western Ukraine, we have a German infantry and a militia. And then Italy has a tactical bomber, two infantry, two motorized infantry, and three fighters. Uh, so that's it for Italy here on turn 14.7. Turning things over now to Hambone and the USKMT.